Hi, I'm Joe Meany from the University of Alabama. Chemists invent new molecules that improve our lifestyles. Aspirin, polyester. From the pharmacy to the frying pan, chemistry impacts your daily life in thousands of ways. Silicon has been useful so far for making computers work, but we're reaching a point where the need for smaller and more flexible circuits takes hold. Scrunch or foldable electronics aren't possible with brittle silicon. That's where I come in. I'm designing and testing molecules to see how electricity flows through as few as 10 atoms to see how we might control that in circuits 100,000 times thinner than a hair. By using computers to calculate molecular properties, I can design molecules that will line themselves up on a flat metal surface. Think building a house out of Legos where the pieces will fit themselves into the model that they were designed for. But here comes the fun part. Once I know what molecules it is I want to make based on the molecular properties that I need, I can actually go into my lab and make them. I've made a basic backbone from two different rings of carbon based on benzene. I attach the two rings together through a reaction which makes a lopsided asymmetric molecule. Then I add different atomic alligator clips. These are bits of the molecule that are atomic tethers to tie down the molecule to a flat metal surface. The important tethers I choose line up my molecules like the Lego bricks I just mentioned. Control of the design is key to get good data. Then I can make an electric sandwich forming a full circuit. From this circuit, I see that these two rings of carbon move electricity well in one direction, but not the opposite direction. From the design of the molecule to its chemical construction and finally through its testing, I have one burning question. Can we move energy in one direction through a molecule, but keep it from flowing backwards? Answering this will allow future scientists to create circuits past the limitations of silicon and create devices in the future for you to use. From my data, doors are open to future applications. Over the past decade, smart technology has exploded all around us, from revolutionary technologies like the thermostats in this building, to exercise tracking bracelets and the wonder of the modern smartphone, the decrease in size of electronic circuits has introduced computers into previously impossible situations. Even in medicine, nanotechnology is starting to see a use. To continue this drive of imagination and innovation, we must realize that chemistry is a big part of the little things that matter.